Hey guys, it's been a minute. And I don't know if you've seen this new blog post yet, but a new snapshot for Godot 4.6 came out recently. And there's a nice quality of life update. I plan to make the occasional, you know, quick Godot update for you guys here. So if you enjoy that, then give this a like and I'll be sure to make more. So we're in the Godot 4.6 snapshot right now. So I have my player character here. And one thing that's pretty common is to use resources on these nodes. You know, you can hold really anything you want in a resource. But the thing is, is that resources are shared between nodes by default. So what I mean by this is if we take this player character and what I've done is attached a quick stats resource here. We just got health, attack, defense, very basic. And I've attached it to my player character. Now you can see it here. I've got the stats. I can just add it again and use stats resource. So one thing we might do is we might say duplicate this character let's say it's an enemy instead of a player and if we do that you'll see that that same stats resource is added to these duplicated players right the issue with this is that when i change the health on player three for example to 100 now the health for player two and player are all the same value. You know, there can be some use cases for this, but really most of the time we want them to be unique. You know, there are ways to do this within the code and within the editor, but with this new update, they've made it easier by adding this little link icon. What you can see here is it shows how many resources are being used. So just a nice quality of life improvement. So you can see here that the resource is being used in three places and you can just click it to make it unique just like that same thing here now it should be down to two we can make it unique so now each player has its own stat resource if we change this attack to 20 on player two it don't it no longer changes it for the other players pretty neat i thought i would show you also i'm showing my face this video so don't mind me but you know i hope you enjoyed it if you like these quick tips and little news pieces for future Godot updates, you know, dev snapshots, then let me know.